Welcome to the Excel tip video from Excel and Cat. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you how to unstack data in Excel. Take a look at this data. Here we have the address of few famous companies. In the first cell, we have the company name, then the locality, then the state in which that company is located, then the name of the country. Again comes company name, locality, state, and country. Now let me show you how to unstack this data in different rows to different columns. First comes the company name, equal, select the cell containing company name, enter. Then the locality, equal, locality, enter. In the third column we need the state, equal, state, enter and in the fourth column we need the country equal select the cell containing country name and enter now select this row containing formulas and three rows below it we need data in four continuous columns and that's why we are selecting four rows now using this excel fill handle copy these formulas into the downward cells See, we have the company name, locality, state, and country. Now, to delete these blank rows here, select these cells. In the Home tab, find and select. Go to Special. In the Go to Special dialog box, Blanks. OK. See, the blank rows are selected. Right click, delete, shift cells up, OK. See the blank rows are deleted and we have the data in the required format. Now let me show you a variation of the same technique. Company name equal, select the cell containing company name, enter. Now copy this formula into the next three cells. Now move this formulas into the corresponding columns. We need the locality in the second column, state in the third column, and the country in the fourth column. Now select these four rows. Using the Excel fill handle, copy these formulas into the downward cells. Now to delete these blank cells here, find and select, go to special, blanks, ok, see the blank cells are selected, right click, delete, shift cells up, ok, see the blank cells are deleted and we have the data in the required format. We can also use dynamic array formulas or power query for the same requirement. I will explain those techniques in the coming videos, so stay tuned, thanks for watching and wish you a great day.